Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about paper electrophoresis. The contents of this present video contains an introduction about paper electrophoresis, principle of paper electrophoresis, types of paper electrophoresis, procedure for paper electrophoresis, applications of paper electrophoresis, advantages of paper electrophoresis, and finally, limitations of paper electrophoresis. Paper electrophoresis. Paper electrophoresis is a technique used for separating small molecules such as proteins, amino acids, and nucleic acids based on their charge and size. Paper electrophoresis is a variant of electrophoresis where a strip of paper acts as the support medium. Paper electrophoresis involves the use of a strip or sheet of filter paper as the stationary or supporting phase. Paper electrophoresis is an inexpensive method and requires only micro quantities of proteins. Principle of paper electrophoresis Paper electrophoresis technique involves the movement of charged particles under the influence of an electric field through the paper which is usually soaked in a buffer solution. The paper electrophoresis apparatus consists of two compartments to accommodate a buffer through which an electric current is applied. A strip of filter paper is moistened with buffer and the ends of the strip are immersed into the buffer reservoir containing the electrodes. The samples are spotted in the center of the paper. High voltage is applied and the spots migrate towards the oppositely charged electrodes. Smaller particles move faster than the larger ones and the particles with a higher charge move faster than the particles with lower charge. After electrophoresis, the separated components can be detected by a variety of staining techniques depending upon their chemical identity or chemical nature. Types of paper electrophoresis. Paper electrophoresis can be classified based on the voltage applied during the process. There are two types of paper electrophoresis. They are high voltage paper electrophoresis and low voltage paper electrophoresis. The first type is high voltage paper electrophoresis. High voltage paper electrophoresis uses high voltages typically above 2000 volts and the separation is faster due to the higher voltage so the process is relatively shorter. Regarding the resolution, uh, this high voltage paper electrophoresis offers better resolution and sharper bands because of rapid movement. Regarding applications, they are especially useful when rapid results are required or for separating smaller molecules. The second type is low voltage paper electrophoresis. The low voltage paper electrophoresis uses lower voltages, typically below 300 volts. The lower voltage paper electrophoresis takes a longer time for separation due to the lower voltage. Regarding the resolution, bands may not be as sharp as in high voltage electrophoresis, but the process is gentler. Regarding the applications, low voltage paper electrophoresis is suitable for separating larger molecules or when samples are sensitive to higher voltage conditions. Procedure of paper electrophoresis. There are five steps. The step one is preparation of paper. The filter paper strip is cut to the required size and soaked in a buffer solution to maintain a stable pH throughout the experiment. The second step is sample application. A small aliquot of sample is applied onto the paper, generally some distance away from one end. Precise application is crucial to prevent excessive spreading, which can degrade resolution. The third step is electrophoresis chamber setup. The paper strip is positioned in a chamber, which is filled with the buffer solution. Both ends of the strip should be in contact with the buffer to ensure the electrical conductivity. Electrodes like anode and cathode are then placed at each end of the chamber. Step 4 is 
application of electric field. Upon collection to the power supply, an electric field is established across the paper strip. Charged molecules in the sample migrate towards the electrode of opposite charge. The final and fifth step is detection and analysis. After electrophoresis, the paper strip is removed. The separated molecules can be detected using suitable staining or detection techniques and their migration distance can be utilized for analysis. After the migration is complete, the separated molecules are detected using various methods like staining, UV light or radioactivity. Applications of paper electrophoresis. There are seven applications of paper electrophoresis. The first application is separation of amino acids and peptides. Paper electrophoresis can separate mixtures of amino acids or small peptides based on their charge and size. The second application is serum protein analysis. The paper electrophoresis is used to separate and analyze different proteins in blood serum such as albumin, globulin and other fractions. This is particularly useful in clinical diagnostics for detecting abnormal protein levels. The third application is nucleic acid synthesis. Nucleotides and their degradation products can be separated using the paper electrophoresis technique. The fourth application is purity analysis. Paper electrophoresis can help to assess the protein purity, particularly the enzymes or hormones by separating components in a mixture. The fifth application is diagnosis of disease. Certain diseases such as multiple myeloma causes abnormal protein profiles in blood serum. Paper electrophoresis helps in detecting such conditions. The sixth application is detection of metabolic disorders. Abnormal amino acid profiles which can indicate metabolic disorders are identifiable by paper electrophoresis. The seventh and final application is separation of lipids. In some cases, lipids or lipid soluble molecules can be separated using this technique, especially after their derivation process. Advantages of paper electrophoresis Paper electrophoresis is simple and inexpensive. Filter papers and buffers are relatively inexpensive. Paper electrophoresis does not require complex equipment and requires minimal specialized equipment. Finally, paper electrophoresis can be used for a wide range of applications. Finally, limitations of paper electrophoresis. The first limitation is lower resolution compared to gel electrophoresis and capillary electrophoresis. The second limitation is wet paper can tear easily during handling. The third limitation is limited amount of sample can be loaded. Dear viewers, that's all about the paper electrophoresis. Thank you for your support. Thank you.